Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So you guys can tell today's video is gonna be a little bit of a different video. I'm in a whole different setup. I'm still recording in my house, but I'm in my dining room. And I thought it'd be fun to throw in uh, story times in my channel. And I have a lot of like little story times. If you guys do like this kind of videos, please comment and like this video. But today's topic, it is gonna be a little bit, uh, I'd say a little bit of a controversial topic topic not topic it is gonna be a little bit of a controversial topic and this is this involves paranormal stuff and ghost stuff so if you don't believe in this this is not the video for you, you guys can exit out but if you do believe in that then you guys can continue watching this get comfortable grab some chips some popcorn and just get very comfortable because it is like i said a very interesting video and before I tell you guys exactly what I went through, I want to tell you guys that I truly believe that there is something more than us. I believe, you know, that sometimes there's souls around around us that have a finished business. Um, there are souls, you know, that just are stuck in this world. So please respect my beliefs. And I, like I said, um, this is something that I believe in and I'm a truly believer in this. So if you don't believe in this, then you guys can exit out. But please, no hate comments or no negativity. <laughs> but yeah so like at this time in our lives um my husband and i had just gotten a, a one bedroom apartment so we were working together and we decided you know that we were gonna get our first place together so we ended up finding a one bedroom one bath apartment a 30 minutes away from our job and it was the only place that we could afford because the rent around his job it's very expensive and i mean it was and it's still very expensive for a one bedroom at that time, they were around 1600, 1700, and the apartment that we found was way less than that. But like I said, it was a 30 minute drive, and we had just gotten our car, so. But it was something, you know, that we decided to do, and we were happy. Like, I think for our first apartment, it was a great experience. But eventually, after a year of us living in there, one of his family members had uh, an apartment closer to our job. It was a 15 minute drive. But the location was perfect it is in a very small city in orange county but it was close to restaurants uh like like a shopping center so i liked the location and it was it's a very historic town so i really liked it i was very intrigued by it and i i it was fun you know it was fun living in that area but the apartment that we were moving into was a three bedroom one and a half bath a two-story two-car garage and it was perfect for us eventually my sister-in-law would be moving in with us but first it was just him and i and uh one of his friends or i guess like acquaintances was living in there so it was my husband and i and him and we like i said it was three bedroom so first moving in there you know it was fun i like the space i like the fact that it felt like a house it didn't really feel like an apartment but like it just the moment we moved in it just it started to feel very off like the vibe was very weird i mean the area itself like i said it's a very old town there's a lot of history to it but i'm not 100 percent like familiar with the history but you can tell by the looks of it that it's very old so i don't know as soon as we moved in there i started to feel like a little bit weird but like i said i kind of like brushed it off and way before that you know i've gone through a lot of stuff like when it comes to paranormal you know like even when i was very young i would see stuff and i get scared very easily even just talking about this but like growing up you know i kind of like forgot about it and just moved on with my life but yeah like in this apartment like the first nights moving in like i remember my husband would be at work and the other person that we were renting the bed like one of the bedrooms too was also at work and i'd be by myself in the house and at this time i had no pets besides a rabbit and she was staying outside so i could hear sometimes like people like walking in the stairs and this is also a very old apartment and it has never been remodeled so i was like oh maybe you know it's the neighbors because like the apartments are so close to each other and one time you know i was in the bedroom and like it sounded like people were walking in the hallway so to kind of give you guys a little bit of an idea of the layout so and the first story like the first story it's a living room and then the kitchen and then the dining room and then there was a garage and then in the living room there was a powder room like a half bath and there was a closet and then the like stairs were up here so you would go up the stairs there was a medicine cabinet the main bathroom and the master 
and then across the master there was like the i guess the medium-sized bedroom and at the end of the hall it was like the smaller bedroom so at that time we were staying in the master and the other guy was staying in the smaller bedroom so we had the other bedroom empty and this was like i said before my sister-in-law moved in so i would hear like little stuff like steps and people walking but i never really like paid attention to it but i would start to feel very uncomfortable like i would always lock myself in the bedroom or i'd be outside and i would wait for my husband to get to work or i would take an uber and go to his job and i don't know i just I, I felt very uncomfortable and then this particular day I was ready I was getting ready to go to work and the guy that was living with us he's like hey like do you just walk to the garage I was like no he's like are you sure I was like yes and like I said the girl like the garage there was a door that would you walk straight into the kitchen and the dining room so I was like no I'm like I did not go in the garage I was like I well, I went upstairs he's like huh he's like I swear I just saw you like walk I was like no so i just we brushed it off and i went to work and he went to work and then i was working in a restaurant so one time i was at work and this is like another like this was like days days after but like i said in between those days i kept hearing little stuff like well like steps and like you would hear like the door like uh the doorknob just rattle but i would just kind of brush it off because i don't want to get scared and like i said i get scared very easily even just like talking about this like it just it makes me like weird but, and whatever so i was at work and my uh, sister-in-law she was visiting for um, she was visiting me and she calls me and she was telling me you know like hey like i just had a very bad dream um she dreamt that you know like she was like sleeping in the, in the living room and like she felt like something was like on top of her and she tried waking up i don't know if you guys have sleep paralysis before but it does it's honestly one of the worst feelings ever like you're asleep and like you're awake but you can't move like you just can't move your body's paralyzed and she felt like something was suffocating her so she i was like okay like pick me up so she picked me up from work and you know i tried to calm her down but she said it was like a very like scary experience so then you know eventually she moved in and the guy that was living with us anymore he moved out so now like it was my sister-in-law myself her two kids my husband and her husband and we were staying in the smaller bedroom she was staying in the master and then the other bedroom was for the kids so sometimes like you know like we'd be watching tv and like we could just hear like people walking upstairs and like we would just kind of look at each other and we're like okay like you know that's that's weird but we would just ignore it and there'd be times where i'd be by myself watching tv and we had direct tv so i'd be watching tv and like the volume would just go up and down and up and down like and there was nobody else in the house and like and there's no other way that like the antenna would interfere with the other signals i even called direct tv one time because like i was watching tv and like it just kept changing channels so like crazy and i was like okay like what the hell like the boxes like the direct tv box was brand new so i called directv i was like hey like you know like what's going on they're like have you tried resetting the box i was like yeah I, I have and they're like okay i'm like is there any chance that you know like maybe my box interferes with like other signals from my antenna and they're like no because each apartment had its own antenna so i didn't even want to watch tv because i know that me watching tv would just it would just change channels or turn off and on and off or the volume would just go up like crazy so i would just not watch tv at all okay so yeah like i would just wouldn't want to watch tv because i did i just I would get annoyed and then one time my sister-in-law wasn't there i think she had gone out on a trip with the kids and her with her with her family and my like i was alone in the house and she left her dog and i remember sitting like in the it was at night and like i said i didn't like i did not like being in that apartment at all it just felt very uneasy but you know we were living there we couldn't move out so my husband was working and i had her dog we were sitting down and i was watching tv and this particular night i think it was like when it first like started to get very like very very strong i was watching tv and like it just it kept going it kept switching channels and it just the volume would go up and down and it would just keep turning on and off and i got so annoyed and i was like you know what i was like fuck i'm like stop it and it just boom, turned off i was like okay and i just hear people walking upstairs and i literally call my husband and i was like there is somebody in the house he's like what i'm like there's somebody in here and like i went into i panicked 
and I froze and I grabbed her dog and I sat by the window and I waited for my husband to get home and he like literally like like I said at that time his his job was a 15 minute drive it took him like less than 10 minutes to get home he like got out of work and rushed it to the house i'm like oh my god i was like i was crying and sobbing like on the freaking floor just like there's somebody upstairs and like i could hear people opening the doors so he go i like he's like okay go outside i go outside and he's like checking the house and there's like he's like there's no one i'm like i swear like i heard somebody and i thought i was going fucking crazy like i just kept hearing stuff and like it just kept getting worse with time you know we were i think there for like a year and like we're like you know what like like this also like one time we were in the like i said there's a lot of like experiences in that apartment this day we my husband and i were in our bedroom and then we hear my sister-in-law just like scream and we're like what happened so we go outside and she's crying and she like we're like what happened like what happened to you? she's like scared and she said that she was like getting some like medicine from the medicine cabinet and she turned around and she saw like this little girl in the staircase and even just talking about it it's giving me the chills and like it wasn't her daughter it wasn't my nephew so like she she was like very scared and, like you could see it in her face and her husband came out and like we're like okay like you know like what the hell like yeah this is not normal and my niece saw stuff um her husband like like all of us saw like different stuff you know but like i said like those um stories like they're stuff that they went through you know i don't want to like tell their stories maybe one day we can me and her can sit down and talk about stuff that she saw but it just it like i said it felt very very uncomfortable and we just heard, we would hear little things like um people walking you know like the doors like rattling and she was telling me that one time she saw like this like shadow kind of like forming into the hallway like near my bedroom and at that time i did not want to sleep with the light top i would always keep a light on and ever since then i'm not kidding guys i still sleep with like a little light on and like i'm so embarrassed to admit this but i think the last straw for us was like I even just like talking to like i said i'm like stuttering because like i still get nervous but like you know like i said i like videos like this and i thought it'd be interesting but now that i'm filming it i'm getting scared but you know what it's still going up this particular night i'd say it was the scariest night for us and like it's so funny because it would always happen when my sister-in-law and i were together with the kids when my husband was there like he never heard anything he said he felt uneasy but he never saw anything you know uh, but he truly believes me like he saw the fear in my eyes he would see me get scared like i said i did not want to be in that apartment and at that time i had just started working for starbucks and the starbucks that i was uh working at was like a seven minute walk from my house so i'd get out of work and like if my sister not wasn't home like i did not want to be there i'd be out like at ross marshall's like and i would wait till my husband would get home or i would take an uber and then wait for him at work because i did not want to be in that house so this night my husband and my brother-in-law my sister-in-law's husband were, were working together they were in the same place and me and her were watching tv we were like in uh in our living space and the couch that we had was like pretty long and then it would peek out just a little bit and the like dining room was like back here and i'm like if i'm looking like at the viewfinders because like i'm gonna sure i'm making sure i'm in focus but the couch was here and like the dining room was back here so i was sitting in the couch and she was like sitting like i think on the carpet i can't remember but i had her dog and she had my nephew and my niece was like right next to us and me and her were just watching tv and we were talking and like all like all i hear like in my like right ears like somebody go like shh, like a whisper but like i ignore it and like we hear like steps upstairs like we hear like heavy stomping like like you know like boom 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 and it was all carpet and we're like okay like you know we're just like we look at each other like let's ignore it like let's ignore it, you know like let's yeah let's not pay attention to it and then i the tv was on and then the tv would just continue switching channels and the volume just went up like uh, like a hundred percent and like i was like you know what i'm just gonna turn it off so i turned it off i got so annoyed and we just looked at each other and we're like okay you know what like let's ignore it let's not pay attention to it because the more a lot of times like you know when stuff like that happens the more attention you pay to it like the more stronger it gets so we just 
you know, we're like so like low key, like looking at each other, like, okay, should we leave? Should what should we do? So we just keep hearing like footsteps, like, like in the hallway upstairs, and I'm like at this time I'm getting very nervous. I'm like getting very nauseous, and I don't know if this if you guys have ever been through like stuff like that, but. I get scared and I get nauseous and like I just like started to get like this throbbing headache and then like up the stairs like I said it was a medicine cabinet and there was a door next to it for the like the baby bathroom we literally hear somebody like hands down like I like I said I am not making this up like if one day you guys want to like her to come in my channel and for her to like confirm this then I'll ask her um, but we hear somebody like open the door and close it and i'm getting like more nauseous and like we're like okay like okay we're like we're slowly like starting to get our stuff to kind of get out and like we hear like somebody close the door like we don't know if they went in or out and then we hear somebody running but like they ran to the point where they stopped like in the edge of the staircase like that that's what i picture when they ran like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and like it sounded like the stop and like I was just waiting for somebody to come down the fucking stairs. Like I'm sorry for cussing, but like it sounded like somebody was about to run the freaking like down the stairs. And me and her look at each other. I get the dog. She grabs my nephew, and we ran out of that apartment. Like we ran now. Like it was like we didn't even think twice. I think we left everything on. Like I left without my sandals. She left. Like we left the kitchens in there. We just ran out to the like we grabbed the keys, and the moment I ran out of that apartment, I started throwing up. I just I started throwing up, and like I said, I even like right now I feel very nauseous talking about this. But I started throwing up, and she said she saw a little girl like by her window because um, the entrance to the apartment was like so they're like the apartment like like I said they're like uh, condos. And the entrance was on the side so there was a little hallway and the entrance was on the side and her bed her window was like on top so she said she saw a little girl just peeking out i didn't see any and i thankfully i like i thank god that i never saw actually i never physically saw anyone but i would hear and i felt it and she said she saw a little girl and that was the same little girl that she saw when she was like in the stairs and she says like it was she was like weird like wearing like a white dress with like short hair and like we ran out and we literally we got in the car and we drove to our husband's job and we just waited for them to get home and i told my husband like you know what i'm like i do not want to keep living here i was like i don't freaking care if we move into a freaking hotel but i'm like i am not staying here any longer because like i said i've experienced there's like i've experience other stuff you know like if you guys want to hear like more scary stories but this particular day was like i think one of the scariest days of my life and like i still feel it you know the fact that you could still feel it like the like adrenaline like like rushing in i was like you know what i'm like i don't want to keep living here so me and her just decided to start looking for our apartments and we found like we found an apartment thankfully way closer to his job a brand new apartment and we're like you know what like i know we're saving a lot of money living here but i'm like it's it's messing with us i'm like it's messing with it and it's getting stronger and like a lot of people suggested that we would bless the apartment we did not want to do that because like we didn't want to mess with whatever was in there and a lot of people have lived in that apartment previous to us so we don't know if something happened in the past we don't know what happened in there or we don't know if it's the area because like i said the area where it's located it's a very historic town so you know maybe maybe something happened like back in the day but we did not like i like i said i don't want to mess with that i did not want to be there like we got to a point we would never be home we did not cook at home we would be eating outside we would be at the stores at the mall we would be anywhere around except our house and i'm like and the fact that i couldn't even stay in my own house and i didn't feel comfortable I was like that it was that was no way to live for us i don't care if we were saving money but it was not it like i just like i said like it i just it got to a point where like you know like it was messing with us like mentally and like i thought i was going fucking crazy and i was like am i making this up like am i am i like imagining stuff but no like it i mean if it would like you know if it would have been just myself then maybe like you know it was questionable but the fact that almost everyone in the house saw something or felt something i'm like yeah it's just not me 
but thankfully you know ever since then like it, we we moved to a whole different apartment and like we, you know like it just we never went back there and like sometimes you know my sister-in-law would go to pick up some packages because she would get stuff delivered even just like driving like pulling up to that apartment it just felt like uneasy and we're like nope we're not coming back and you know sometimes we go to like the play like the town you know because it's like it's this little restaurant we kind of drive around but we never really like stop by the place anymore but yeah ever since we moved out of there you know i mean i still experience stuff and like i still see stuff and like i said i don't know if it's something that like is close to me i don't know if it's just something you know that follows me but any it like the the way i feel right now is nothing compared to how i feel in there and i feel like that was like like i truly felt fear and like i said i don't think whatever was in there was like nice i think it was pure evil um but yeah but like you know i'm so thankful that now <laughs> i mean like i said i still experience like stuff here and there but like it's you know i ignore it like i brush it off but yeah that's pretty much it like i said i don't want to like go too much into detail because i don't want to get all like personal stuff you know and like i said my sister-in-law and you know her husband saw other stuff my niece saw other stuff but th those stuff are theirs you know i was not there when they experienced that I just wanted to tell you guys like my experience living there but yeah so like if you guys do like watching scary stories then I, I definitely have way more like me and her have gone through other stuff you know like with at her aunt house like that was not like the only experience that we've had you know like I said I've had more she's had more but I do want to like tell her stories you know because like I don't want to like like tell them wrong or maybe one day me and her can sit down and like talk about it but this is something that we went together you know and like these stuff that this is the stuff that i saw and she was there with me but i don't want to tell stories if i wasn't there so yeah like i said i hope you guys like this video and i apologize if it was all over the place like i said i still get a little bit nervous talking about it but i hope you guys really like it and if you guys do want to hear more scary stories please like this video don't forget to subscribe and comment i'll see you guys in the next video bye